Hello, hello. Okay, we are here. We're in Brooklyn. It is 60 degrees out today. I'm wearing a t-shirt. What? Look at, look at those guns. Okay, it's 60 degrees. We're about to start our next project. Um, what I want to talk about first though, I want to talk about superpowers. Because, you know, everybody's got their superpower. People are like, oh, I'm really good at baking cookies. I'm really good at finding four leaf clovers. I'm really good at winning the lottery, which would be a great superpower in all honesty. My superpower is finding amazing stuff in the garbage, other people's garbage. This is possibly the least glamorous superpower in the history of superpowers, but it is mine and I love it. What I found most recently is this set of six chinoiserie chairs. They are so fun. They, six, I said six. Can you believe that? A full set of dining chairs upholstered, like sort of a faux bamboo trellis back. Um, I found them in the garbage in Bushwick. I was like cruising along, doing my thing, listening to the radio, boop, boop, boop. And then I saw them and I was like, screech! And like, of course, jumped out of my car and nearly got run over by a taxi. And then managed to wedge all six of these freaking chairs into the car. Because of course there was like already an unbelievable amount of other weird stuff I found in the garbage in the car. Because evidently I'm a hoarder. Um, anyway, so I got them in, I brought them here. My plan is I'm gonna spray paint them, I'm gonna reupholster the seats, and then I'm gonna bring them up to Maine and they're gonna be amazing. Because there's a set of six beautiful dining chairs that some crazy fool did not want. And I, of course, was like, yo, those are my destiny. That's my superpower. So with no further ado, we're gonna jump right into this project. First things first, I'm gonna unscrew all the seats, put them to one side. Admittedly, they're pretty gross. You know, I found them in the garbage, so like beggars can't be choosy. But, um, so I'm gonna take the seats off, then I'm going to brush down the actual frames to make sure they're free of any loose paint. Then I'm gonna lay down a drop cloth. I'm gonna spray these bad boys up while the, while the sun is shining and it's 60 freaking degrees out here. Maintain, it's totally crazy. Um, and then I'm gonna recover the seats and I'm gonna bring these suckers up to Maine. I'm so excited. Downside to having finding trash be your superpower is that sometimes you know, they totally gross things like take other people's gum off the bottom of the chair. And we're brushing these guys off. It doesn't really look like there's much loose paint. It looks like they've been sort of knocked about, but. Alright, so now I think I'm just gonna like scuff the whole situation up a little bit. I just want to make it so that the paint is actually going to adhere to these bad boys going forward. So I'm just going to scuff them up a bit. Oop. Look at these beauties. They already look better. Okay, so taking a break. We're basically all this side is completely painted. My index finger is like a useless claw now. I can't, it's, ah, I can't really bend it because I have been spray painting for so long it's become totally <laughs> useless. So we're taking a little break. We're gonna let this dry. Um, then we're gonna flip these bad boys over and we're gonna do another coat. And hopefully by then I'll be able to use my, my index finger again because right now it does not. It does not. <laughs> it's broken. Okay, yay. Okie doke. So I don't know if you've ever added six full-size dining chairs to your home office, but I just did, and now there are chairs absolutely freaking, freaking everywhere. Um, okay, so here's what we're doing. We're up to, we're up to upholstery time. Um, all of the chairs have been sprayed white. They look glorious. Uh, we're back inside because it's after winter weather in New York. Here's what I've got. I'm a staple gun. Bam, 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 bam. This is the real deal, staples. I went with the 5 16 inch because I don't want them to be so thick 
that when I staple them into the seat of the seat, they shoot through the other side and stab somebody in the ass. So they're like a, you know, like that tall. That tall. I've got pinking shears. Pinking shears are basically, they're like a serrated, like a zigzaggy scissor. It just makes it so the fabric doesn't fray. That said, if you have regular scissors and you don't have pinking shears, like let's just move on with things and you can get cutting with your regular scissors. I just happen to have pinking shears, so that's kind of the ideal. And here's what we're gonna do. So I bought a bunch of different fabrics and I like them all. I have this like really beautiful, like sort of seafoam mohair. They're like fabrics that I, like I had, I liked. This one I bought, this one I bought. Um, but the first question in my mind is, what's going on underneath the old nasty cushion? Because they're all dry now. So theoretically we could just leave it be and put the fabric right on top of this. But I kind of like to know what's going on under there and then decide if I'm gonna remove it or not. So I've got my handy knife, my Leatherman, my knife. That's a knife. I'm just gonna pull off one of these covers and see what's going on down there. All right, well, what we know is it getting the fabric off of this cushion. It's a goddamn nightmare. <laughs> so, all right, with that in mind, let's at least do this one and then I can make the like really, the deep emotional decision about whether or not I'm really gonna pull these off of all six of these seats or I'm just gonna put that right over it. Because frankly, like this is a little bit of a how intensely thoroughly these have been bolstered. All right, so, <laughs> bing, we got that off. <laughs> Live to tell the tale. The ideal situation would be to just me, lay out your fabric so that you can use your actual seat cushion as a little template. That way you know how much to cut. Essentially what you want to do when you're doing this Make sure you give yourself some extra space. You wanna be able to have enough extra fabric that you can bend it over so that you can also staple a totally excessive amount of it onto the underside of your cushion after the fact. Pull your fabric taut around the side and fire away. Guys, in a crushing blow, my staple gun is broken. I can't tell you why, but it's not working. So I have to take a quick pause. I'm gonna go get another staple gun. It's possible I'm gonna light the hardware store on fire because I'm super ticked. And then I'll be back and then we'll keep going. Okay, yay. Okay, so once you've got your fabric square cut with your little excess edge, you're gonna take your staple gun and you can fire away. So I'm going to use like 90% fewer staples than the person who did before me. I think he, I don't know, that person had, I don't know, fear of like a really abusive relationship with their chairs, I guess. fabric when you come around this corner and you don't want it to be so such a big bulge and then you sort of like fold it over like that see how I did that so like 
tuck the edge, tuck the edge, and then pull this down over the, like the nose of it. There's our seat. Don't mind the lint. And then it's gonna pop right back on here. We're gonna screw it in. And that's just as cute as can be. He gets, I love it. And once it's actually like screwed on, it'll be a little more tight and flush. That blue is like just spectacular. And I'm really digging the white frames. Okay, we have two down. Four more to go. I love them already. Come on, that is charming. Alrighty, so I forgot to film an outro for this project, so we're doing it now because Tyler says we need one. So don't forget to tune in to Room for Improvement. We've got all the DIYs, loads of how-tos, lots of vlogs, treehouse tours, There You Go Thursdays, you name it, we're doing it. Hit the subscription button, hit that little bell, ding, ding. Thank you very much.